former chief economist at the IRF, uh, IMF, and somebody, Ken, you and I had long, extensive conversations in 2008 and 2009 about sovereign debt, about Greece, about our Fed back then. So good to chat with you again, I think. Uh, do you see the problems in the U.K., maybe Italy, and I hate to even reference Greece again, as, as solved? Or could there be more pain to come? Well, I think what's going on in the U.K., we may see in many other pockets of the global economy, which is that people just thought interest rates would not go up this fast. And they you know, sold interest rate risk and took chances that they shouldn't have a lot like in 2008 when people thought home prices couldn't go down. I think in the case of Italy, I would draw a distinction where I think it is a problem, but it's really not just the speed. But I believe that at the end of this cycle, whenever it is, it could be three years from now, the interest rate is not going to come down as much as you think. I think we're going to be looking at real interest rates and forward-looking inflation-adjusted interest rates that look more alike in the early 2000s than we got used to before the pandemic. Yeah, and that's I very challenging for Europe because, they're, you know, as long as it's a free lunch, they can promise anything. Yeah, and, and I'm going to be perfectly transparent and honest with our viewers. I mean, I probably have a bias toward the negative because— I lived through 2000, I lived through 2007, 08, 09, watching people throw Molotov cocktails into banks in Syntagma Square in Greece. So I've seen sort of how these things become political crises. We've had a little bit of stabilization the last couple of days, but I worry about the next six to 12 months, Ken. I mean, is it overstating it to say we could have more sovereign issues? Is that even, is that possible? Well, it's certainly possible uh, we're, you know, in some emerging markets. I think the real issue to me is that the central banks keep saying we have to bring get inflation back to two or two and a half percent ASAP. And if we don't, inflation expectations are going to go up and that's terrible. But and we'll have a worse recession five years from now. When you talk about political, I think having a deep recession now would be very destabilizing around the world. And by the way, good luck not having inflation expectations go up in the long run. Look at somebody in the UK. They had 10% inflation reported today. The IMF's predicting almost 10% next year. Are you uh -huh. seriously telling me that's not going to get built into interest rates for a long time?